third host second as DMP look for four wins in a row, while Kieran Powers boys look for their first away win since early October. Narrow margins have defined this fixture. One point for DMP in the last two hands them form. In the Halloween spirit, Park looks to break the Northern Echo Arena curse. So there's changes in the front with Kyle Trainer and Paul Doran Jones making way for the younger Ali Wade and Nick Lovell. Another case of experience for youth in the second row. Henry Spencer getting his fourth star of the season for Sam Toomey. Greg Lowe's hamstring pull against Mosley sees Ollie Grove get his first start at number 10. Meanwhile, Craig Holland steps up for Benji Marfo, and that sees Ben Howard make his return to the squad on the bench. Craig's with the raggly hair. Seals going all the way out here to the fullback, Brandon Asherwood, and he's going to go for the first try in the corner after five minutes. Well, we called him the nemesis of Rosslyn Park before, and he's done it again, Asherwood. Park find themselves behind early on, on the road once again. McKirby looking to the left where he's got Craggs, who he finds. And that goes into the captain Hodgson, but quick hands here into Seals, and now they've got a break again here on that far side. That's Asherwood again, he's breaking away, and he's got McKenzie in there. There's only Robinson in front of him. There should be a score for him, and he does get it. This DMB side have won the last three in a row for a reason, because they are so lethal in from the backs, as McKenzie has shown there, but Asherwood doing all the work for the home side there. And all of a sudden, the visitors park find themselves in a real mountain to climb after only nine minutes here. Peter by Lavenshire. More set up. And they suddenly sprint forward here. Hugo Ellis at the back there with it. He keeps driving forward. They might have some good momentum here as they go down. But I think they've got it. And they have. So Arthur Ellis getting the congratulations. And Park get on the board after 17 minutes. They're just stirring here now. Good pass into Lavenshire, who manages to break through the middle here. And he's stepped round another tackle. He's looking for his fourth try in four games. So close there. He's trying to get this one out quickly though. But it's a score. I think that was Henry Cheeseman who got the ball down there. But Park gets their second try. Goes to the middle here with Galandis. One there by him, and the Moore gets set up. Vaughan Edwards with it at the back. And they drive forward here, just getting round this DMP pack. And they keep going and keep going. But it's still there in the hands, and it goes over, and it gives a score for Rosslyn Park. It's the little hooker for Park, Tom Vaughan Edwards, who starts the wall and finishes it off in dominant style there. Picked up there into McKirby's hands. Brick here. That's Stokes trying to break. He goes straight into Ellis. This is dangerous here for Park, but it's taken out. And a penalty. Hands in the ruck from Ellis. The big noise here as the ball goes, sails through. Lewis. Spencer. Park. Looking for the options on the left here. Grove kicking it down the line. But Asher really just bounces out of his hands there, actually. Oh, there late. It's a late tackle here. Let's see what's gone on here. Oh, and it's a Simbin. Oh, well, Simbin for the number seven, George Stokes. And that is not what DMP would have wanted. A late tackle there on Ollie Grove. But the kick comes from Craig Holland, and it is through. Uh, I think those points really go to Ollie Grove, to be honest with you. We've always had very tight games between these two sides. And in the first 10 minutes, it threatened to be that way again. But Park just dug down deep. They did the work against a tidal wave of noise here at the Northern Echo Arena from the home fans. And they have come away with, with four points.